I've been doing YouTube videos for four years now. My editing has always been the old school way. You know, record a script, edit a roll manually, remove all the bad takes, remove all the ums and us, color grading my video, fixing my audio, adding text and video effects, and then posting it on YouTube. But with recent AI improvements, video editing shouldn't be this complex anymore, right? I've been trying out CapCut for the past few weeks and it has been a game changer with their AI features built right into the editor. Auto background removal, auto framing for Instagram, auto caption using AI and so many more AI features has made editing so much easier. And honestly, much faster as well. I'll show you my usual workflow and then how I use the CapCut and its AI features to speed up the same workflow in this video. Let's get started. Let's start with a quick intro about CapCut for those who are not aware of CapCut. CapCut is one of the best editing tool in the market today. There is an editing app for Mac, Windows, mobile and even for the web. Unlike traditional video editors, CapCut is designed to make video editing very simple and intuitive while still bringing all the advanced features of other non-linear editors. It has a ton of effects, transitions and AI tools built in and the best part is it has a free version with an awesome feature set. Okay, let's look at my usual editing workflow. This is how I edit my A-roll footage. Usually for an 8 minute video, I usually have around 30 to 40 minutes of raw footage. Since I usually have some bad takes and missed lines, the first job for me is to go through these 40 minutes of footage and manually cut the pieces where I fumbled, misspoke or mispronounced something. Then I'll have to go over and remove all the filler words that came in like ers, ums and pauses. This itself takes quite a bit of time as you would expect. I usually record my videos in log profile where the colors are not accurate and usually overexposed. So I need to fix the colors and color grade my footage. This makes the video look much more pleasing. The next step is where I add all my effects like text overlays, transitions, video effects, blurring out, infographics and everything. Next I fix my audio, correct the volume, remove any background noises and level my audio properly. As you can see, it's a lot of complex work and it's not even the creative part. This is just for the long form. I also post reels and shots based on my long form videos. So there is a whole separate process where I take the long form video, break it down into smaller shots and reels clips, frame it in the center and captions and a ton of more work just for the social media. This is all the routine tasks, right? Why can't it be simpler? Well. CapCut has made exactly all these steps to be way simpler. I'm going to show you the exact same workflow now, but in CapCut, where AI and the simplified tools in CapCut lets me do this so much quicker and better. Okay, first I'm opening a new project in CapCut on my Mac. Now I'll import my raw footage to my timeline. As you can see, since I shot this video in log format, it's all washed out, dull and overexposed. Let me fix that first right away. If you remember, what I used to do was manually correct them or use a LUT, which I'm not really a fan of, which doesn't give me my favorite look. With CapCut, fixing this footage is just two clicks away. I select the clip, go to the right side panel, under adjustments, I select auto adjust and color correction. Just with two clicks, the video and colors are auto adjusted for most part. This gives me a good baseline to begin with. The video is slightly overexposed because I shot it overexposed to preserve the shadows. The only extra correction I'll do on top of this is to bring down the exposure and then increase some contrast. There. Within seconds, the clip is looking great already. But here's the kicker. If I like a certain look from a certain clip, I can ask AI in CapCut to just replicate the clip's color grading directly onto my clip without knowing how to color grade at all. Let me show you. This is a clip from online. I like the cinematic colors and color grading in this photos. I do not know how exactly I can manually achieve the same look in CapCut. But under the same adjustment tab, there is an option called color match. I check this option. Now CapCut is asking me to select a video or a photo from where it has to replicate the grade. I drag and drop the picture I liked. And instantly, CapCut has replicated the color grading of my favorite clip onto my footage as well. 
so easy right i can adjust the intensity as i like but if i had to do this in another editor i should have been a pro and spend hours together to get this right okay color grading done but i've not edited my 40 minute footage yet i need to remove all the bad takes and filler words with CapCut, this is going to be like a magic with ai power i simply select my footage and click on the symbol on top of the timeline called transcript CapCut automatically transcribes my whole script for me. If I play, it highlights the parts of the script as well. It's also showing me these pauses and gaps that I have in my video. Also here you can see this was a bad take and I repeated the same sentence again here. Now to cut out the bad take, I just select the paragraph in the script and hit remove. That's it. CapCut has removed that bad take from my video footage automatically. This way I can go ahead, select the sentences with the bad takes, hit remove and done. Not just that, you see the pauses here. I'll select that part, hit remove and the pauses are gone. I'll show you one more AI magic here. In this part, I misspoke the word angle down as angled up. I'm noticing this only while editing and I cannot reshoot the whole section again. Look what CapCut can do. I'll select that word, I'll click on overdub. Here I'll fix the word I misspoke and click overdub. CapCut has fixed the mistake for me in real time without having me to reshoot the same topic again. This just saved me hours of work. Now, color grading done, editing done. Let's fix the audio. If I select the clip and go to the audio tab in the right panel, of course, I can change the volume, add a fade effect, etc. But there are two features here which are my favorites. First, listen to this clip which has a ton of background noise. Life is like a camera. Focus on the good times, develop from the negatives. And if things doesn't work out, take another shot. Removing this on any other editor would be a nightmare. But in CapCut, I can select voice isolation. With AI, CapCut will remove all the background noise and just keep my voice. Listen to this updated clip with voice isolation. Life is like a camera. Focus on the good times, develop from the negatives. And if things doesn't work out, take another shot. Amazing, right? The second favorite feature is normalize loudness. You see, my voice may be loud in some parts and low in some other parts. With enabling this AI feature, CapCut will lower the volume where it's loud and increase the volume where it's soft. I can even enhance my voice with just one click using this enhance voice option here. This again would consume a lot of time in other editors. My video is taking shape really well and I've spent hardly 15 minutes so far. Now is the time to add text, transition and other effects. CapCut is known for their ton of text effects, transitions and video effects. The left panel is where I can find all of them. There's text effect which I can drag and drop on my timeline. I'll add a few here. I'll also add some transitions to my clips to enhance them. As I said, there's literally a ton of them and you can check it out for yourself. I want to show you one more feature which I use very often. I like this effect of text appearing behind me on the screen. To do this, I will first duplicate a clip by holding down the Alt or Option key and dragging it up. Now there are two copies. In the text effect, I will drop this text onto my timeline. I'll modify it to say whatever I want it to say. Now, I'll drag it in between the two clips. Now, to make the text visible behind me, I need to crop out the background in the top layer so that the text underneath it becomes visible. This is so easy in CapCut. I will select the top clip, go to Remove Background, select in the Video tab and select Auto Removal. That's it! With AI, my background has been removed for the whole clip. Now, I can even add more effects onto this text for even more fancier video. I think my long form video is pretty much complete. I can add b-rolls here if I want, but basically just my creative part is remaining. All my monotonous and mundane work has been taken care of AI in less than 20 minutes in CapCut. Such a time saver. I can now export this video right away. Okay, long form video done. Let me show you how I create my short form videos with the help of AI. There's usually three things which I do to create my short form videos. Take my long form videos and break it down into smaller short clips. Second, 
convert the landscape video into a portrait video for mobile screens and I need to reframe my face to keep it in frame and third caption them which is absolutely essential for reels and shots. Luckily CapCut can help me do all these three with AI. This is my sample horizontal video. I need to convert it to portrait video and keep me in the frame. To do this first I'll select the video ratio here and change it to 9 by 16. Okay, now I will expand it to fit the screen. This is fine for the most part since I did not move much. But say I was swaying or moving in the frame. To fix this, I can just go to the video tab and under basic section, there's an option called auto reframe. This AI option will analyze the frame and make sure to keep me in the center for the whole clip. Now I don't even need to manually reframe myself and keep me in the center. Such a time saver, right? Second, captioning. I used to create text effects for each sentence or word manually and highlight them as needed. But now, why do it manually if we have AI to do it right? On the left panel, there is a tab called Captions. Under here, there is a section called Auto Captions. I can select Auto Highlighting Keywords options and select Generate. CapCut will auto generate the whole caption for me, made just for reels and shots. If I don't like this default look, I can go into Templates, pick the one I like the most, select Generate Captions and that's it. I have captions for my whole clip generated in just seconds with amazing styles and effects. It does make mistakes here and there which I can fix quickly. Third, why make reels when CapCut can create them automatically for me? That's right, if you give CapCut a long form video, it can automatically create multiple short form clips for you with AI. Check this out. On my CapCut, there is an option on the homepage called Long Video to Shots. When I select this option and drop my previously edited long form video, CapCut is going to upload this to its server for quick process. And then it's going to analyze the video and create multiple short form clips, complete with subtitles, effects and various lengths based on my requirement. Without CapCut, if I had to create 8 shots on my own with editing, captioning and reframing, it would have easily taken me hours to get it done. Now, just a few seconds for 8 videos here. In my experience, it usually does an amazing job at picking up the interesting and complete parts from a long form video. But if it's not perfect, you can easily edit it and customize it according to your liking. Okay, that was my whole editing workflow which could have taken me hours or days. Now, sped up using CapCut AI by over 80%. I still didn't get to talk about a lot more AI features like auto relighting, AI removal, AI movement, and so many more AI features which I use from time to time. If you want to see a video on those features, let me know and I will make a separate video on them. A few of the features I use today are under their paid pro subscription, but the good part is there is a vast feature set in CapCut which is available for free. If you're looking to simplify your video editing process, I highly recommend giving CapCut a try. It's free to download and you can find the link in the description below. For me, it's a real time saver and it's a game changer for creators. Okay, I hope this video was useful. I'll catch you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.